I'm going to do a demo, but uh, I will just uh, give a small introduction about the SP editor uh, overall. But my, my main uh, topic today will be this new feature called MGT React Playground. So about me, my name is Tommy Tavel, I'm Microsoft MVP. Uh, been one year and one day now. I want to say shout out to Erwin for the a nomination a year ago, so still here, hanging well. And I've been developing uh, solutions, mainly intranets to SharePoint since 2007. And half a year ago, I switched to to another side, a little bit different perspective to work with M365. I'm, I'm, I'm doing solutions from the mobile app perspective. And I work in R&D works. And also here I have listed uh, some links. So SP Editor comes in two flavors. It's a, a Chrome and Edge extension. So this is the place where you can install this extension for each browser. And also there is this uh, my Twitter account with some hashtags to follow to get the latest updates. And also the GitHub repositories of the both, both extensions. Yeah, let's go. Demo demo time is the best best time always. So first I will tell you this is where it looks, where you install the things. I would like to get some uh, thumbs up from people if if you really if you haven't ever used SP editor, you don't you don't know even what is SP editor. The problem is I don't even see the thumbs <laughs> because I'm sharing, but anyways. Uh, let's go. So you go to this URL, which I just shared, and you install it to your browser. And to use it, you will have to press F12 or a shortcut option Command E in, if you're using Mac. And you will open this uh, developer tools and there will be a SharePoint tab you to click. So when you select that, you will be inside SP Editor. I added some uh, warnings here because this is a very powerful tool. So you are actually using the APIs and you can do a lot of things. So this is like warning, but a little bit with a funny way of written warning. Uh, the, the main thing I'm here today is, is to talk about this MGT craft playground. I will let it wait a bit. I will just show you a little bit what else this thing can do. So uh, before SharePoint got all modern sized. Uh, we used to use these script links to attach uh, JavaScript to the pages and build your own customizations. So uh, this tool was very handy for that. Of course, you can use PowerShell or, or any other CLI tool, but to make these things fast, I created this kind of a tool that you just add the URL, the sequence, the scope, and you just press and the script link will be there, or you can remove them or even refresh the cache if the link is not working, okay? So, but this is classic stuff, so you don't need to really pay so much attention of this. Uh, then there is the PMPJS console. Uh, here, uh, this is maybe probably the fastest way of learning or just running uh, fast uh, PMPJS scripts in your site. So. If we really get the whole IntelliSense here, I can also add here everything so we can really see what it does. So the IntelliSense works very well. So if I now here click Control D, this block will be executed and it's printing here website home, okay? Or web title. But I can also do the same thing. I can like ask lists, and like this, let's move here, like lists, and let's print it out here. And we click Ctrl D, and we should have the, all the lists in this current site listed here. So this is handy for doing some, running some scripts or to learn uh, PMP JS. Okay, to go forward. This is also quite new thing. Uh, this is same kind of tool to run scripts, but this is now against uh, Microsoft Graph. Uh, it's using the Microsoft Graph, Graph client. 
uh, of course, because you are using the graph, you normally you need to create a MSAL connection to the endpoint. So it's quite long this session, what you have to do here, but you will you have the possibility to to specify the scopes and and the authentication things how you want. But then you can also put the endpoints here. So now this is like basic stuff. I just press Control D. It will authenticate, and it will print here the details. So now I can also easily like add here my mail. Press Control D. So here we get the mail also, or I can like select everything and I can put here like show me the messages, messages. So I, this will take, okay, it was quite fast. So now I get everything here. And in, there is the craft uh, explorer, which is also nice. Uh, but if you want a little bit uh, write code, this is one tool to do that. Uh, then, I will still skip the playground web properties. Uh, some use cases there are that uh, you are saving some data to uh, web properties. So in this case, it's normally you would use PowerShell or CLI, but we can do here like a property here or something like an follower here. So we can add with this tool very easily new properties here or we can even search search properties like what is there like correlation so we get some properties we can analyze uh, what's what's in the property bags and then we can delete this because we don't use it and then the same thing goes for list properties you select your list Let's see, and then you can add list properties. And you can also uh, make these properties indexed that you get the possibility to find them using the search. So there is this index button here, okay? And ah, then this is also quite new thing. This is SP Shooter. So this helps you if you, you want to study different uh, REST endpoints of SharePoint. You just write it here and you press enter, you will get everything here. You can specify the headers or body. If I put here like where was it? And shoot, we can see that I get the maximum amount of headers here. Or oh, then I can just remove it back. And I can check here like lists. So I get all the lists here. Okay. So, and yeah, you can select the method, post, put, or whatever from there. And also there is the webhooks. This is something that uh, is uh, supported in SharePoint lists. So you can call your endpoint uh, if something uh, happens in the list. So this is one place to quickly create those. Uh, I can show you how it happens. So let's delete this. Uh, webhook and then let's create a new one we select the list let's say about the cat list the kissa means cat in Finnish then you put your endpoint uh, this is not necessary but here we go and then you just add it so now anytime something happens in this list this endpoint will be called with the payload of the list and and some other information of the tenant. Okay, now, the, now to the beef, I still have some time to show uh, MGT React Playground. I like <laughs> I like long names, but yeah, I, I saw the release of MGT React Components and MGT Toolkit, and I, I was really amazed. It was a really interesting project. And normally when I want to learn something new, there has to be a project. But of course, I didn't have any work related project, but luckily I have this SP editor. So it's always then uh, very nice to, uh, to decide, okay, I want to do something with this. So I will add a feature of this in the, the SP editor. So this is where we are now. And I'm really, really excited about this. So we have now 
imported this login component in this uh, in this editor and just added it here and we get this very nice uh, component here render we can sign out and we can sign in it's all the authentication is uh, configured here you can use your own client id also you just need to create it in your own tenant and also add this chrome uh, extension uh, reply url to it and that will be okay but the good thing here is also that it works like you just save and you can uh, see the changes immediately okay so let's take another sample i also added a lot of samples here so that was the login component but you can also create uh, you can override every ui in the login component so in this case we can see that uh, i have overrided all of this and the component looks a bit different as you can see so if i remove everything from here press ctrl d we are back in the normal state okay i put them back we are in the custom mode uh, here i can say like click me to outer. okay i save it and let's go and check it out click me get me out of here or whatever <laughs> okay so this, you don't need to bundle everything to get started with mgt uh, components you can just open sp editor and, and and start playing with it and when i was doing this i added every component that uh, toolkit supports and also about this uh, msl configuration uh, you can also create your own configuration uh, where you export the client application straight from the MSA. And when you are using this, you, you cannot really use whatever, <laughs> whatever uh, uh, node model. So you, you can just use this uh, Microsoft MCT components and MSA. So you don't go here or <laughs> try, try low dash or anything like that. It, it will not work. Then there is the events. We can uh, let's see what happens if I sign out from here. I can see it. Okay, all these things happen it because I added here that in login event we always log it to the main point, uh, to the window. So now when I sign in, we will get all the events here. So basically, then I, you could do another rendering stuff here if if necessary or you want. Then we got the me. This is the the get component. This is very interesting. Uh, now it's uh, listing all my information here, uh, but I can also change it. I can put here like this. So I guess is it uh, oh no messages. Let's see. Yeah. So now we get all the messages from the tenant. And here again, there is a template. Uh, I'm reading the values. I can create or render whatever formatting here I want. And I can just test it here before I push it back to, to my real SPFX project or wherever you want to run these components. There is the person component. Well, that's just nothing really. But then people component, I think this was cool. I press here, yeah. So I, you can get a lot of information from there. And you can just analyze and play with this. Oh, this is my favorite, because here you get a lot of information. So you can just check this out uh, and practice them, learn them, even uh, debug them and, and create a, a open issues. Or, or if you find something is lacking, you can always create a issues for the repositories and so on to make this uh, MGT even stronger. Ooh, what else? So, well, go here, check this out. Uh, there is even a Teams channel. Oh, speaker, I love, I really love this. Uh, I, when I built this tool, I even did it. <laughs> I, I'm not even mastering the MGTs yet. So I'm using this just to, uh, to learn it by myself. It's really a powerful. Uh, list man it's all here check it out 
habe ich gelernt, dass ja, yeah. ich habe eine neue Task gefunden. MLP und P. Das ist es. Es ist es. Und es ist es. Ja, cool. Es ist just all works. Und ja, dann gibt es auch so diese kind of, uh, Class Component Sample. So, you can. This is not even related to the MGT. This is just a React uh, class component. So, if you want to learn or test React thing is, you can also do it here. That's it. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Really uh, an amazing uh, tool uh, and a really great demo. Thank you so much. <laughs>